guys, it's Glenn from glenscarcollection.com and today I am reviewing a Boxster GTS. Believe it or not, it's 65 degrees today in February in New Jersey. I called Kareem at DCH Acura in Montclair, New Jersey and I said, I wanna drive the Boxster GTS. This is the perfect car for a day like today. It's lightweight, it's nimble, and best of all guys, it's got a manual transmission. Now this isn't the 4.0, this is a great buy because this is a 2019 GTS. So it's got the 2.5 liter four cylinder, and we're gonna drive it in this video to see how it sounds, to see if this is the car we should choose over a new one considering the price point. So this is the 718 series, and remember 718 cars, pay homage to when Porsche had the four cylinders. Porsche had the flat four before Subaru did. So Subaru co copied Porsche, not the other way around. So how do you know you have a GTS? Well, you have a different front fascia for the GTS models. You have black wheels for the GTS models. You get the Alcantara seats and steering wheel, which we'll come out and look at it in a second. And what's rare about this GTS, right? So you have an Alcantara steering wheel here. What's rare about this GTS, it's a manual transmission. And you don't have to worry about the seven speed. It's a six speed manual. So no PDK in this one, which is fantastic. Now the GTS models, what's great about them, uh, besides the black wheels, because I love black wheels, is you get the extra horsepower, which is not a lot, 15 horsepower in this case, which brings us up to 365, the S. So let's go through that real quick. The base model has a two liter flat four, 300 horsepower. The S has a 2.5 liter flat four, and it's right here in the middle, so you can't see it without going on a lift, and that has 350 horsepower. So the GTS goes to 365, 15 more, and eight foot-pounds of torque going from 309 to 317. But it's a turbocharged four, so this is way faster than your 2016 GTS, which we've reviewed on the channel, the yellow one, that was up. Oh, there's a truck going by, a bus. Uh, that was on. Uh, that was a PDK GTS, and this is faster being a manual because it's four-cylinder turbo, faster than the naturally aspirated six-cylinder. And I love the 718 chassis. I think it's the best chassis so far for the Cayman and Boxster. So what's great about the GTS, besides all the things I just mentioned, and you can get PDK or manual, so pick whatever you like, is you get all the performance stuff standard. So you get the sport exhaust, you get the PASM, where we can change uh, with the suspension. Uh, button right there, you can you get the sport chrono, so you can change the settings for sport, sport plus, individual, whatever, whatever have you. So we're gonna do that in a second, so let's go over the car. Again, you get the GTS seats, which are really nice. You have a front trunk and a rear trunk. Because you remember, on my 911, I have a 2017 911, so it's turbocharged as well. You could open it up and, and see, I guess, the fans for the engine, right? So here you just have a, you have two trunks, and like the 911 doesn't have this back trunk. It only has essentially that front trunk. So here's your windshield wiper fluid if you need to add oil. The Porsche mat goes with the car. Very deep trunk. You can fit some good stuff. I could fit probably most of my hockey bag stuff here. Now we go to the front, and the front is a, even a deeper trunk. They call the front frunk for the front trunk. And uh, actually, I would fit most of my hockey bag here. So the all-wheel drive 911s, the trunk doesn't go as deep because you have the all-wheel drive architecture. So on the rear drive cars, you have a very deep trunk. And this is, I believe, even bigger than the trunk I have on my 2017 911. It certainly seems that way. And in here, like you have your tool kits and your jack and that kind of stuff. So it's hidden very nicely. This is your escape get out of jail free card. You even have the license plate bracket. It doesn't have a front plate, so I would keep it that way. And this car is for sale today from DCH Acura, and uh, it's still under the Porsche warranty, so the regular dealer warranty. So you can buy this, it's 2019, probably got some warranty left on it, so drive the heck out of it when you first get it. It's a low mileage car too, I think it's only got like 7,000 miles or something. But we're gonna start it up uh, in a minute. So let's go inside the car. We have both keys available for this car. Up! Oh, I just peeled out my key. All right. So, up. Oh, so this car just has just over eight thousand miles on it. Put the seatbelt on so we don't have the chime, and we'll we'll start it up. Key is always on the left, and you have both keys here. You can even wrap these. This car is black, but like my Miami blue car, you can get like a Miami blue wrap for it. So it's pretty cool. So it is a manual. So we got to put the clutch in. We're going to turn it. All right, and now she just came to life. Another symbol, you bought the GTS because you have the GTS right there. 
Now, as I mentioned, you have all the sport options here. So sport exhaust, which we'll drive with, uh, auto shut start. Uh, if you want, we want to re deploy the rear spoiler. I think it goes up at about 75 miles an hour. This is your shock. So this is your PASM, P-A-S-M, not to be confused with P-S-M. Uh, and then you have your sport chrono, that little uh, stopwatch there. And as you can see, so this is uh, normal mode. I, don't, I forget why they call it O, but normal mode, right? So you can watch in there. We put an S, see how the tone change? Normal mode, S mode. Sport Plus, doesn't get any louder, but now everything's gonna be more sensitive, more heightened. So Sport Plus gives you the crackles, I believe, in the exhaust, and we'll find out when we drive it. And Sport is actually the quickest way around the lap time because having those extra pops and bangs aren't necessarily perfect for horsepower and uh, lap times, they're more for sound and experience. And then we could go in individual mode where we can configure, maybe we want the soft suspension with the loud exhaust. All right, so we're gonna put the top up now, and that's really easy. We're just gonna pull up on here, and we don't have to do anything. I think I have a foot on the brake, right? Oh, here it is, it's the back one. It just comes up automatically. I think you could do this up to 30 miles an hour, if I remember correctly, and it just latches automatically. So it's not like the S2000 where I have to do the latches and then do the car. I can do it all at once, just the touch of the button, and that's it. And then we could go through six speeds, so we have a nice, short, throws here we can go into reverse and then we have a really good backup camera it shows the car and it's uh it works perfect it's 2019 so i believe this has apple carplay which is an option but i believe it has it uh now the climate control is optional if you want auto climate control most caimans and boxes don't have that because i think it's like a 1700 dollars option but you know you could just put the temperature cold and hot it's not a big deal the only thing you would, i would say to have with the convertible is the heated seats which this car does and that's really all you need All right, so now let's take it for a spin. All right, so now we're gonna take her for a spin. I'm gonna put it in sport mode. As you can see, it just got louder. This, that automatically puts the sport exhaust on, but we'll leave the, sounds pretty good to me, but we'll leave the uh, suspension in comfort mode. Wow, it's just so nimble. Though I've had three 911s and a Cayman, and I love my 911 with that rear engine bias. I do prefer the mid-engine cars. All right, it's a hot day, so I'm actually gonna put the climate control down. Now this will actually, if you have Sport Chrono, you get rev matching. My 911 does not have Sport Chrono, so I have to rev match. There's no mode that uh, rev matches for me. I, it's old school. I have to rev match it just like uh, my 2005 NSX. But here, as you can see, we're in third gear. We're approaching the light. As soon as I put, the, as soon as I put it into gear, it rev matches and makes a perfect smooth shift. All right, so we're going to go up to the twisties here. I really like this car so far. You know, I used to always want the coupes, you know, uh, always the lightest version, stiffest version of every car, but now, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older. I kind of like enjoying with the top down. We have very few good days here in the Northeast. This has been a mild winter. Like, I haven't shoveled at, at once, and it's mid-February. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to really appreciate the warm days and the convertible. It's not how quick you get there, it's how much you enjoy the journey. So the clutch is nice and easy, nice and light. The shifter is pretty short for a stock shifter. Now I can tell you right off the bat, this is has way more punch than that 2016 PDK, and the PDK is always the fastest version, right? This is, this is way faster than that, and this is a manual transmission. So on the 7 to 18s, whether you get a base, an S, or a GTS, I would 100% go for the, uh, let these cars go. I would 100% go for the manual transmission. You, you can't stall now, you just, just like my car, you put your foot in, and it automatically restarts the car, and it rev matches for you, so you can really be a novice. And they don't roll back on hills, none of that stuff. None of the challenges I had when I was a kid learning to drive stick. All right, so let's throw it into a turn here. And again, mid-engine, I'm gonna break into the turn a little bit. Oh wow, it really, it probably handled that turn better than any car we've ever reviewed on this channel. And we've reviewed a thousand and hundreds of them here. 
Wow, sounds pretty good to me, this engine. Sounds really good to me. And again, we're gonna have a sharp uh, off camber turn here. I'm not even hitting the brakes. And it goes perfectly around that turn. Now that is a car. Wow. That is an amazing car. All right, so let's go this way a little bit. I may wanna hit those S-turns again. All right, so let's take those S-turns again. We're gonna do it in Sport Plus mode. So we have the more sensitive throttle, the exhaust on full blast. Give a second gear pull there and it's gonna rev match for us, which you're gonna see we're in third gear, right? Go down, watch those RPMs again, third gear, go down into second, and a rev matches for us. Easy peasy. Honestly, there's no reason, of course PDK is faster, but there's no reason not to take the manual because it doesn't stall and it rev matches for you. So what's great about Porsches is they're not exotic. So this kind of car, so say you bought, I don't know, some other car, with the convertible, you're gonna have a lot of compromises. You're gonna have a stiff suspension. Your significant other won't, won't wanna go for a ride with you out to dinner because you're gonna be driving like a maniac and the car's really gonna punish you being so stiff. Where here, the car, it's just, you know, you could make this a regular car. I could drive right now in quiet mode. You know, I'll put it up a gear or two. Now I'm getting probably 25, 30 miles to the gallon because it's a four cylinder car. I'm not into the turbo at all. And there's no issue. I'm having a great time with this car. There's a little more road noise in convertibles and a little more road noise in Porsches if we took this car on the highway. We're not near a highway, so we won't be able to do that in today's review. But when I drive my 911s on the highway, there is a lot more road noise. So if you're the kind of person that uh, needs to talk on the phone, whether for pleasure or work while you're driving, uh, that could be an inconvenience for you. And I would say if that's the case, there are better cars you should choose over a Boxster or any Porsche. All right, but this car, so this kind of car, you know, usually I have some time constraints. I got to get back to the dealership to fi film the next car. Uh, just because I have to run my commercial real estate business, I try to come to DCH and film multiple cars at once. Uh, today, which is, I only had time for one car, and I could take a little more time with this car, which uh, is fantastic. And since we did some acceleration there, I'm just going to put it in reverse, make sure the license plate's still attached. Yes. Okay, good. Because the license plate, uh, since I'm just putting it on temporarily, it covers part of the camera. All right. Very easy to drive. I think this car would be real easy to drive in traffic. The clutch is very nice and light. I don't even have to look down to see the gears. That's how perfect this transmission has. I like this sound. It's like a guttural sound. So no, it's not a high-pitched Formula One sound. It's not certainly a flat six sound, but I actually like this sound. And so the trade-off is for these Boxsters and Caymans, do you like sound or you like performance? If you like performance, the four cylinders are gonna give you better performance, better handling, better acceleration, better gas mods, you name it. You're, you're paying for sound on the old ones. But even that PDK GTS that I bought, let me adjust this mirror. Uh, it was fun to drive. I had a blast. I took it up in the mountains, but uh, it wasn't fast. It, you know, it felt pretty slow in the PDK. So a manual version is going to be even slower, right? So there is something to be, be said about slow car fast. And we just hit some uh, manhole covers there. It's so comfortable, the suspension on Porsches. They really got it right. You even got a wind deflector here. Pretty awesome, guys. So I don't know. I think for the price, I would pick this. It would be nice to have the 4.0 with the 6 would be even better. But those cars start at about, I think one of our local dealers had a white one, a no option car is like 109,000 manual, no, essentially no options for the uh, Boxster Spider. Even the GTSs, once you put in options, they're well over 100 grand. You could get these cars, you know, in the 70 something range, 70 to 80,000, and uh, you get a ton of performance. You're still gonna have some warranty left. It's a reliable car for years to come. And you can even make it faster. The, being the fact that it has turbos, you could tune it and uh, you know make it as fast as you want. Really smooth into the turns. These Porsches, uh, you know, the Boxer was designed to be a convertible from the start. So you don't have uh, squeaks and rattles. It feels like a very stiff car to me. You know what, we're gonna take the long way. When I love a car, I take the long way back. 
since I don't have to film any other cars today, I'm gonna do just that. And uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Uh, we're doing videos now for the winter every Monday. But I'm gonna do shorts in between, so you have to subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll miss those shorts. And always browse your YouTube shorts for my videos. And like the video and comment. If you could like the video, you can definitely leave me a comment. Go to DCH Acker's inventory and let me know in the comments what car you want me to review next, or just what car you want me to review next in general. And if I have enough people asking for that car, I can go to a dealership and say, hey, this is my following, these are my subscribers, and we'll get some more cool cars to review. All right, so now going downhill, I could just leave it in third gear. You can leave this car. I don't think I've gone higher than third gear in this car, second and third. Second gear runs out at about 72 miles an hour, somewhere in there. I think the gearing is fine on the four cylinder car here. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you some bonus footage here. Let's go up this hill again. It seemed like a pretty cool hill to drive. Uh, I don't know if we can get around this guy, can we? I think this is the way I went, yep. All right. See, I like the sound. Let me know what you think about the sound in the comments. Let's put on the sport exhaust here. Let's go into sport mode. We even go into sport plus. So now we'll get the maximum cracks and pops on the exhaust. Oh, this is a fun car. Now it stiffens the suspension automatically, so I'm gonna take off the stiff suspension, but keep the, uh, we can configure that in individual mode. Yeah, wow, this car has so much power, so much more power with the turbos. I see why they did that. You know, when you come out with a new car, it's gotta handle better and perform better, right? You really can't say we're going to the, uh, we're gonna go with the sound, but make it slower. Uh, you know, enthusiasts like us love that, but that's not most people. I'm probably gonna take the top down because this is such a beautiful day. So I think I'm gonna end the video here, but if you don't buy this car, I think I will because this is just a tremendous, tremendous car. Thanks again for watching, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.